Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. The, in this session, I shall discuss a numerical on semaphores. Previous session also I have discussed the numericals. This is a bit tricky question. So, how to proceed for the solution? I shall give you. First, let me tell you what is asked in the problem statement. The problem statement says that there are five processes. How many? Five processes P1 to P5. Each process P1, PI, that means for process P1, P2, P3, P4, the code is like this. The numerical says that this is the code which these four processes are following P1, P2, P3 and P4. And what is the code for P5 is not mentioned here. Instead, it is mentioned in the statement. The code for P5 is identical. It says that code for P5 is identical except that it uses up on mutex in place of down on mutex. So, here you have down on mutex in place of down it makes use of up on mutex. What is the largest number of processes that can be inside the critical section at any moment? So, that is what you have to find out. How many processes? Okay, how many maximum processes can be inside the critical section at that but at any moment? Now, since they have not given directly the code for P5, you can only draft it because uh, you can only write it. The reason is they have given the hint here, uh, they have given what exactly has to get replaced. So, for P5, it is do up on mutex. Critical section, then once again upon mutex. So, this is what you have arrived now based on the statements that were given in the problem statement. Normally, you know that every process when it wants to enter into the critical section, it has to what carry out its entry code. Then only it, if it is allowing that entry code, then only it can enter into the critical section. Once it comes out, it has to perform its exit code. These are the three different statements that has to get or three different sections of each process. So, here very clearly they have given P1, P1 will perform what the entry code like this. P1 to P4, all these four processes, P1 to P4 will perform what? The down operation on mutex, then they can enter into the critical section and at the time of leaving, they want to, uh, they, they have to perform the up on mutex. But P5 is doing it in a different manner. For P5, the entry part is this one, this entry section. Then critical section is critical section and the exit section is this one. So, for P5 only it is different. So, this way P5 will follow to enter into the critical section. Using this uh, code, you need to determine at any moment how many processes can be inside the critical section. So, let me just focus this side. Okay. We will do like this. We will make one critical section here. First a box type and say that this is your critical section. Now, we will see how many processes can enter into the critical section. First, it says that P1 will start with the process in the sequence only because First, we will do carry out for all these P1, P2, P3, P4. Our aim is to what? See that more number of processes, maximum process ca processes can reside in the critical section. P1 will perform the down operation on mutex. So, initial value of the semaphore is given as initial value. Yeah, let me write the initial value or uh, you can say binary, the semaphore is initialized to 1. Semaphore value is initialized to 1. So, there I have written the semaphore value is initialized to 1. So, now let us start now. If the semaphore value is initialized to 1, s equal to 1. First, the P1 will perform the down operation because its entry code is what? to do the down operation when it wants to do when it tries to do the down operation the semaphore value becomes zero okay so hope you people are following here semaphore value has become zero now because p1 has carried out this once p1 has done this it can enter into critical section p1 has come so we wanted more number of processes now current value of semaphore is yes p2 wants to enter into critical section p2 p2 should also follow the same code p2 has to perform the down operation on mutex please remember or recall what the Definition for the down operation on the semaphore. What is that? While s less than or equal to 0. But here the condition is true because the current value of s is 0. 0 less than or equal to 0 is true. That means P2 now cannot enter into the critical section. That while loop condition became true there and it is struck and it cannot enter into the critical section. So, P2 cannot enter but P2 is there in the 
block list okay p2 is there in the block list even p2 cannot enter similar will be the problem with p3 p4 also because even p3 wants to enter it will also perform the down operation current value of semaphore is zero it is not allowing so p3 also becomes blocked then p4 wants to enter into the critical section p4 will also try to do the down operation but still you see the current value of the semaphore is zero it cannot enter into the critical section so it will also get blocked next comes p5 p5 wants to enter p5 has to carry out this part to enter so p5 has to perform the up operation on mutex to enter up operation will increment the value for semaphore by 1 when p5 wants to enter into the critical section it will perform the up operation on mutex the value for semaphore becomes 1 and then p5 can enter into critical now look here as soon as the value for the semaphore becomes 1 p2 which was trying to enter into the critical section now it can enter into the critical section because it has to perform the down operation on semaphore so it will carry out it will uh, do the down and it will enter into them so we can remove now p2 from the block list p2 has successfully entered into the critical section at this point of time there are three processes that are there in the critical section actually if it is a multiple choice question they may give some options like this okay uh, 5 2 3 or none of the above fine these are the different uh, multi uh, options given you need to select here so most of the students what they do is they uh, this is what it comes to everybody's mind that okay p1 has entered p5 has entered p2 has entered after that there is no scope because the value for s is equal to 0 p3 is still struck there p4 is also struck because p3 and p4 can enter only when the value for s becomes 1 but now the value for s equal to is equal to 0 they cannot enter so they feel that yes only three processes can reside in the critical section and they will tick to this c option that is three but this is not correct because you have to i said no this question is slightly tricky you need to do some okay some trick here to make maximum number of processes enter in the critical section the trick is simple what you have to do is p5 which was which was entered into the critical section you make p5 to come out from the critical section because for p5 to come out it has to perform the up operation on mutex its exit code says that do the up operation on mutex so p5 will try to perform the up operation and it will make the value for uh, semaphore as 1 and it will what it will come out so now p5 is not there remember p5 is not there in the critical section as soon as the value for s yes becomes 1 p3 which was in the blocked state its while loop condition becomes fall it can perform what now the down operation on mutex and it will enter into the critical section once again now what has happened p3 once it enters will remove p3 from the block list now the value for mm, semaphore is 0 we once again p4 is not able to what enter into the critical section because the value for semaphore is 0 we will do the uh, one uh, the same trick again what we will do is we will make p5 to enter again so p5 to enter has to perform the up operation on mutex so p5 will carry out this and it will perform the up operation on mutex the value for semaphore becomes 1 and p5 will enter into critical section as soon as the value for semaphore becomes 1 p4 which was in the block state now for that p4 the while loop condition becomes what falls it can perform the down operation on mutex and the value will be 0 and p4 can enter fine so this way you have to carry out here this trick you have to make it because it is simply what making p5 to come out from the critical section so that the value of semaphore will be such a manner that the other processes which are in the block state can enter into the critical section now if you see how many processes are there p1 is there p2 p3 p4 p5 at any moment all five processes can be existing in the critical section so which option is correct in this case this one so here i have given an example for five processes it can be 10 also like 1 to 9 are having this much this part of the code and the 10th process will have this part of the code so that time also you apply that logic and try to see how many number of processes can enter in the critical section at any moment this logic is helping maximum processes to stay in the critical section at any moment so this way you have to proceed for the solution so if you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.